Okay, so now we're going to dive deeper into each one of the personality styles and how to understand each one of them better, where they're all coming from, what drives them, what strengths they have, and what areas they need to improve on. For each one of them, we're going to discuss some tactics and strategies on how to better connect with them, how to help them to become more productive, more effective, how to manage them better, and how to understand those specific styles during the interview process so you know what better questions to ask. We're going to start with the extroverts, which are the dominants and the influentials. All right, let's get started. The dominant, they like to direct. They're very dominant. They're very action driven. They're very forceful. And there's no doubting where they're coming from because they make themselves very externally known. Influential agree with all the energy of the dominance, but they like to bring in the, the friendliness, the smile. The dominant looks at her and goes, you're softening it. I'm trying to get these people to pay attention. And so everything the dominant says, trying to force the actionness and the seriousness, the, the influential, is trying to soften it with something energetic, something enthusiastic, something more people oriented. But those two are very extroverts. Enthusiasm, team. Yeah, I was in fourth grade and me and Kevin were sent out to put the flag out. Came back 30 minutes later, late, wet, because we didn't come in from the rain, and the flag was put upside down. But we took our ride up happening. We became great friends. That's high eye. It's all about relationships. So what if we got in trouble? No results, no timeliness, no accuracy, but it was great. That's a high eye. And to be more effective, this person needs to do these. If you want to connect really well with a high D, you get in front of them and brainstorm. Get in front of them. Because what do we do mostly with high Ds, with high dominant individuals? We run from them. So what do you think causes them to do? Yeah, no problem running after you. They love it. Go ahead and hide from me. That's why I'm a high D. They're good at it. You want to stop that? Get in front of them. Said, hey, I want to come talk to you about this. I want to come talk to you this. Make it regular. High dominant individuals are having to be high dominant because nobody else will. But if other people become more high dominant, the high dominant becomes much more brainstorming rather than driving. Because, okay, others are willing to drive, fine. They don't have any problems sharing the, the wheel. They're just upset that no one's willing to come and take the wheel. If you have a strong dominant individual at your peer, then get in front of them. Above, get in front of them. Here's a good question to ask when interviewing. You find a high D or you think you got a high D, Tell me a time when, and then you hit right at what you know Ds are not good at. Tell me at a time in which a decision you've made blew up because of lack of accuracy that you didn't want to look at. Well, you know, there was a time in which, and then they'll tell you, okay, well, what did you learn from that? I had one, one guy tell me, apparently not much because you had to ask me twice. I said, very good. <laughs> very good. I appreciate that. All right, so what do you think we're going to expect from you? I love this question. Tell me a time when. Okay. You think about the personality, you ask the hard question, see if they're, see if they're self-aware. If not, help them out. Be gracious, be merciful, give them a second chance. They probably are leaving their companies because they don't know what they're doing. If they're willing to be coachable during the interview process, or at least they're coachable. Don't, you can't expect perfection. You can't expect them to be good at it. Okay? If they were that good, they wouldn't have left the last job. And be a little more humble. If they were that good, they wouldn't be coming to your company because you just lost the person that they're replacing. Be humble. Let's, let's help people out. Let's, let's help the folks that are coachable but don't know how to be coachable come in and experience a good interview process, they realize this is a different place. It's a development place where safety is okay. All right, so the I, the influential, agree with all the energy of the dominance, but they like to bring in the, the friendliness, the smile. The dominant looks at her and goes, you're softening it. I'm trying to get these people to pay attention. And so everything the dominant says, trying to force the actionness and the seriousness, the, the influential is trying to soften it with something energetic, something enthusiastic, something more peaceful people oriented. But those two are very extroverts. Enthusiasm, team. Yeah, I was in fourth grade and me and Kevin were sent out to put the flag out. Came back 30 minutes later, late, wet, because we didn't come in from the rain, and the flag was put upside down. But we took our ride up happening. We became great friends. That's high eye. It's all about relationships. So what if we got in trouble? No results, no timeliness, no accuracy, but it was great. That's a high eye. Okay, they're enthusiasm, they're friendly. What do they talk about? Friendly stuff. They're all about woohoo, they're enthusiastic, they're promoters of ideas. They say yes a little too much. Yes, yeah, yes, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, absolutely, yes, I'll do that. Of course I can help you with that. Yes, I can help you with that. And they overload themselves and do very little because they're promoters. They're promoters. They want to promote people. They, they want to advance ideas. You see what I'm saying? And they overcommit themselves. They're very hard to say no to, okay? And they're hard, very hard to say, to say no, okay? If they had a t-shirt, it would say this, someday you'll love me as much as I do. They are the energy. 
They are the collaborative angle of the team. If they walk around and tell you, hey, we're not getting along, you better pay attention to them. Hey, the culture is bad, you better listen to them. You know, that, that marketing message, eh, listen to them. They're good, they have a nose for this, okay? And so here's the things that they should work on, all right? And in order for you to really help them, have them vote first. In decision making, because there's so much trying to please everybody, they will go with where the wind is going. And they like to go last because they want to go with the winning team, okay? So, all right, guys, let's vote on it. Maurice, you go first. Okay, high eyes hate to go first because it counts. They don't like to go, they don't mind going first when it's all spotlight stuff, but when it's make a decision, they, hate, they read the room and they go with where the vote is. So get them to be honest about what they think. And if they don't have an answer, I don't want to go, whatever, I have them go first. All right, so in interviewing, here's the question to ask. Tell me a time when. It's the same question, but now you apply it to high eye. So tell me a time in which enthusiasm is not the best approach to try to sell ID. See, in a high eye, it's like, just like a high D, I don't, I don't want to answer that question. So you ask a question that hits right at the heart of an high eye. Okay, so earlier we hit the high D with the lack of accuracy because of their action with a high eye. So tell me at a time where you felt that it, where you felt that you could push an idea or promote an idea without enthusiasm and more data and spreadsheet report. Tell me, tell me a little bit about that. And then you just listen. But you gotta remember high eyes are good at faking. So they'll tell you a story. So really, you know, what book was that? Can they get accurate about what they're saying? So tell me a time when, tell me a time when, tell me a time when. You wanna explore that because that's their biggest weakness. Hey everybody, great job making it through this. Go to the next module. Let's get moving to the next levels. Good luck. And again, thank you for joining the program. Honored to help you.